Welcome to Kingdom Principles Online Seminar brought to you by Forbes Global, Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. The vision, transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. And now presenting God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes. Welcome, welcome to another Kingdom Power Park Dominion Session being brought to you by the Holy Spirit for your family, your mama, your papa, your sons, your daughters, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, your uncle, your whole household. Joshua declare, for me and my house we will serve the Lord. Wow. Today, focus session is part two. The kingdom of God is not a religion. Part two. Wow. I want to focus on keys of the kingdom of God living here on earth. Our focus, objective principles are five. One, Jesus only, only preach one message. Two, the Bible is about the kingdom of God. That one, Jesus preached the kingdom of God. And the message of the Bible is about the kingdom of God. Three, applying the kingdom of God to your life, everyday living. Four, Christianity, the largest religion on the planet. It is a product of Catholicism. Catholicism faith, practice, and order. All of Christianity adopt the same belief. Five. The kingdom of God is not a religion. Wow. Am I clear? Tell me more. Psalms 145, 13, NIV. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom without beginning and without end. It's from eternity. Wow. Your dominion endures throughout all generations. Every human on earth, God's dominion endure throughout every lifespan on earth. The Lord, when you use the word Lord, it means sir, master, una. It means king. Every king is Lord, and every Lord is king. Wow. The Lord, the king, is trustworthy. The king is trustworthy in all his promise. Everything he promised us, he will do. He is trustworthy to all his promise. Wow. He is gracious in all 
He does. The kingdom is everlasting. The church, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Mormons, Joe Wickers are not the kingdom. The kingdom being before the church, it is everlasting. All this had been. Wow. Next point is Psalms 103, 19. The Lord. When you use the word Lord, the next word means King. The King has passed in, established his throne. Now, throne symbolic chair, but it's not just a chair. It is the seat. The dominion, the power of a majesty, of a royalty, of a monarchy. God is king. His throne, his authority and power. He rules in the heaven and the earth, but his authority and power is in heaven. Wow. And his, when you use the word kingdom, you got to say of God. It is his. It belongs to him. Kingdom. For 1800 years that the church was busy, but not effective. They were preaching a message Jesus never give them to preach. Pastors and preachers are preaching what he did. But you must preach what he said. I'm a clear. Wow. The word established means set up a throne or set up rule permanently. Basic law. Power, authority, and dominion. So my headquarters, my government, is in heaven. Global Diplomat College Center government is in heaven. And I'm an ambassador of heaven. The word rule means governing conduct. Means exercise unlimited power and authority over means decree means order means dominion means government control there are many folks preaching in youtube instagram facebook many social media platform tbn but there are many talkers. They're good talkers. They're charismatic and they're talking. But the kingdom of God is not talk. It is power. It is power. Now, show me that. Open your Bibles. And this is a scripture you did not see. 1 Corinthians 4.20 For the kingdom of God it's not matter of talk. Many people say they're in the kingdom, but they do a lot of talking. It's not talk, but of power. The kingdom of God is the influence of the kingdom of heaven on earth. Earth is a colony of heaven. To understand this message, we got to go back. Now, the topic is, session is, the kingdom of God is not a religion. Now, what is a religion? A religion is 
a collection of belief rituals. Ceremonial worship is superhuman or God or gods. It practice their faith and practice. It is an organized system. There are four major religion. One, Christianity. Symbol, the star. Symbol, the cross. Symbol, the cross. And the fish. Their symbol built around the cross. And the fish. The cross is what Jesus did. Jesus never preached the cross. He preached the kingdom. The cross represents death. Because of sin keep death. For the wages of sin is death. Wow. When you go to these churches with crosses, you are going to a morgue, a cemetery. Crosses everywhere. God never give you a cross. The symbol of the believer, the symbol of the kingdom citizen, it is a crown. Victory, power, authority, dominion. <laughs> Tell me more. Christianity, Islam. Islam symbol is the moon and the star. Next are Judaism. Judaism symbol is the star of David. Now, Christianity, Islam, Judaism are an Abrahamic religion. They claim that Abraham is the father. Then the next religion is Hinduism. 38 symbol of Hinduism. How much is? 38 symbol of Hinduism. God gave human. The first thing God gave human is mama, mama luck. Mama luck. Mean power, authority, rule, dominion, control. Kingdom! Where that is from? The seminaries, your modern day seminary, have misunderstood the kingdom theology. The church have misrepresented the Lord Jesus Christ on earth. This is the heartbeat of God. Why he created human mankind. Genesis, the book of the beginning. Moses write five books. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, called the Big Five. The Pentateuch and the Torah. Now, then God said, when God speak, a king is speaking. God identify himself not as a president, not as a prime minister, not as a congressman, but God identify himself as a king. And God, the king, said, Let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, make, to make something, it has to already be in existence. God said, Let us make man. Now, God is spirit. Man is spirit. Let us make man from my spirit. So man is a hundred percent spirit. Living in a dirt soup. Humus soup. Wow. In our image. In our likeness. And let them have. The word have means possession. Let them possess dominion, authority, power, rule, country, kingdom, mama luck, mama luck. Wow. Ah, you see where kingdom come from. 
That's the Mamalak is the Hebrew word for kingdom. Wow. So God created. To create something, you got to create something from nothing. God is the only one who is Abba, Father, who create us from nothing. Create man in his own image and his likeness. God create man in his own image and his own likeness. He create them. Create him, male and female. So God create human in two model. Wow. Now, many folks, Christianity had misled humanity for 1800 years. Many say they, uh, they are created to worship. When a king have children, they are royalty, they are royal family. You were created for dominion. Oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praises because of your enemy to silence your foe, adventure. When I consider, when I think, when I thought of your heaven, the words of your finger, the moon, the star, which thou hast set in place, what is man? What he is? A hundred percent spirit living in a dirt suit. That thou art so mindful of him. Thou art made him a little lower than heavenly being. Thou crowned him with glory and honor. You made him to have dominion over all the works of your hand. Wow, you never made for ritual. Going to church every Sunday, singing, clapping your hand. You are a leader. You have the kingdom in you. You have the kingdom of God in you. Now you got to activate that kingdom of God within you. Know. Nothing is yours till you receive it. Nothing is yours till you claim it, till you apply it. Wow, wow, wow. You are made to have dominion. So God gave every human on earth kingdom dominion. You are a dominion people. Now, how to apply the kingdom of God to your life every day? Tell me more. How do you do that? How do you apply the kingdom of God to your life every day? Now, this is about Paul. Paul write 14 letters. They are epistles. There's a the sore problem in the church. Wow. While Apollos would ask Corinth, who is Paul, a disciple, an apostle, took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some disciple. Now, then say question. It say disciple. What is a disciple? A disciplined student, learner. One who sit under a master teacher and ask them. Now, they were disciple. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Now, you need to ask many questions. You say you believe, you say you're saved. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe, if your pastor don't preach the Holy Ghost, or the church that you attend do not preach the Holy Ghost, you can go further than your pastor. If the blind lead the blind, both will fall in the ditch. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Ask yourself that. You've been a Christian for years. 40 and 20 years, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? The answer, no, no. Now they were disciples. Wow. 
They were disciples. Did not receive the Holy Ghost. Wow. Some pastors preaching don't have the Holy Ghost. Paul asks, then, what baptism have you received? John baptism, they replied. Paul said, John told he baptized with the baptism of repentance. He told them that believe on him, which will come after that is Jesus Christ. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When Paul laid his hands on them. Do you experience this in your church on Sunday or every day? Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. Then shall the end come. If this teaching and this channel been a blessing to you, go and subscribe Global Diplomat College Center and be a partaker in proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. Evangelion the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. God saved all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone. Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Hallelujah.